Hey everybody, Josh with Kerbal Concepts back again. Uh, this week I'm just going to give a little more of an update about the Lulzbot Mini. I've uh, been doing some nice prints on it. Uh, it took a little bit of playing around because my prints, I'm going to bring this up close to the camera. This is the housing for our USB chargers and getting it to focus on that is going to be a challenge. You can see how small it is in my hand though. It's less than an inch in diameter. It's about an inch long. Uh, the autofocus isn't helping. But if you can see that inner ring right there, oh, there we go, it zoomed in nice. Those features on the inside are as small as a half a mil, actually a little under a half a mil, I think it's like point four millimeter wide. So initially the Lulzbot Mini comes with a uh, 0.5 millimeter nozzle. My fault, I didn't pay attention to the specs enough. The Solid Doodle had a 0.3 millimeter nozzle on it and I was having good luck printing that little piece. First three or four prints I tried on here, could not get that top ring to print. Realized what the problem was, switched it out. Um, Went back to IT Works, ordered a, uh, a 0.3 millimeter nozzle. Got that installed really easy. There's other videos about how to install a lot of nozzles on these things. Really easy switch to switch out the nozzle. First print out of the box with that. Beautiful, just beautiful. Um, I also tweaked the settings for the first layer. I'm not over extruding that one. Um, normally that's set to I think 120% in normal. And I set it back to 100 and that helped uh, with getting these released a whole lot more. I can actually get them off that PEI surface now. Um, you can also see I put a uh, enclosure on it that's from a company called Tabsynth. Um, ordered it right off their website. It's a little cheaper than going off eBay that way. Um, I like the look. I like I like the enclosure actually. I thought the front door, I want to roll over here once, the front door is a little small. That's it. That's, that's the front door. Um, and I thought, ah oh, man, that's, that's kind of small, like I'm not going to be able to reach my hand through there. Turns out it's actually not that bad to reach my hand through it. Um, I actually, as soon as the print stops, the bed goes to the back and I scrape all my parts off at that point. Uh, I let the temperature of the bed come down just a little bit, but not very much. They scrape right off and they all fall. Well, then I got to reach through that hole around the bed and try to pick them all up because they're just small pieces. So I'm actually going to raise the whole thing up and build a little drawer that pulls out. So I'll scrape everything off, pull out the drawer. Most of them will be laying in the drawer. Um, the reality is I print a bunch of these, so if I lose a couple in there that I have to pick out later, that's fine. I'll just keep knocking them into the drawer, print another set. Um, I do have the print setting set pretty tight on this, uh, doing 0.3 millimeter layer height, um, and then a 0.25 millimeter uh, shell thickness. So these take a while. They take about 45 minutes per housing. Um, I've been printing them in groups of nine. Uh, that way I can just kind of keep an eye on it. Although I tell you what, I feel confident leaving this thing. I, within a few days here, I'll be turning it on, going, going to bed, come back the next day to parts. Um, I, I never would have trusted the solid doodle that way. Never trusted that that much. This thing I trust. Um, one thing that I hate and I yelled and I said some very, very choice words. The spool hanger is on a friggin' hinge. So as I'm messing around with this thing, getting an enclosure on there, the spool tips back, falls off, spool goes rolling across the garage floor. I got no way to pick it up. I'm trying to be careful to not hurt the filament. I don't want to bust their bender, you know, damage the filament. So I finally managed to scrape it over my feet and just slide beside the desk, got my buddy to pick it up the next day. Wasn't a real big deal, but I, who, who carries these damn things around? People set them up on their desk. Why do you need a spool or on a hinge? It's just stupid design, if you ask me. Um, I'll be fixing that. I'll be gluing the damn thing, or I'll be building a new uh, spool hanger. Um, so yeah, all I've printed so far is, is my housings. Um, and then the, the skirt material, I haven't printed a skirt all the way around. After I knock the chargers off, I don't, I don't like the little knife thing they sent. I feel like I'm gonna break the plate. So I still use my handy dandy just plastic scrapers. I think I got these either at Home Depot or off of Amazon real cheap. So I use the saw doodle and I just take this and just slide and take all that skirt material right off. Um, really, really works well. Um, I've, yeah, I've had great luck with that working. So 
um, continue to be impressed with this thing. Um, if I were if I were to do it all over again in the enclosure, even though I like the look of this one, it's a pain in the ass to build. I have a, one of the back panels I cracked in half and I had to glue together. I noticed a crack today in one of the front panels from where you had to bend it like 14 different directions to get all the tabs to click together. It makes it really rigid once it's together. But especially my quad paws, on a, on a scale of one to 10 on the quad ease ability to use, it's like a two, the thing was damn hard to build. Um, I would actually go with um, either one of the ones that I've seen online where you can just print the parts and put together a place class yourself or just order the one off of Lulzbot's website. It's not as cool looking, it's just a kind of a square box, but I actually think function wise, it's probably a little bit better and a whole hell of a lot easier to build. So um, yeah, real impressed. Um, I, I am printing these with 100% uh, infill. I'm not doing any honeycomb or anything on the inside because I just found they weren't as strong. So uh, these are actually way stronger than the ones I was building. I did a few tweaks to the drawing. Um, the only other thing I'd add is I'm not a big fan of Cura yet. Maybe maybe I'll get there, maybe I will. Uh, but I use Repetier and Slicer uh, on, the, uh, on, on the Solid Doodle. And, and I like the old school nature of that software. I liked all the settings you could tweak. Cura is a little too simple for me and I feel like I'm not getting the most out of my machine because the software is too dumbed down and I'm running the advanced mode. So um, once I nail out a bunch of these and I'm caught up, I'll actually try setting up Repetier to run it and just see what kind of prints I get. See if I might be able to get even a little bit better quality running Repetier um, instead of running uh, Cura. Um, especially on the infill stuff. I don't like the infill settings at all on Cura. Um, I just, yeah, I'm not, not real impressed with Cura. Uh, maybe, I, maybe it's just me, maybe I'm, I'm just stuck in my ways. It's very possible I'm old and I'm grumpy like that. But um, yeah, I'm gonna try Repetier. So um, yeah, next week, uh, by next week I'll actually have Charger shipping. I shipped three today, but I'm a little bit behind. I wanna get caught up. So I actually took them back on back order or on uh, out of stock on the website for a few days. I got a crazy busy week outside of the shop this week. So um, next week I'll actually have them up and up and running and uh, yeah, I'll show some of the finished chargers. But uh, so far, Lulz Bot Mini, it's a win. Um, totally recommend it. Especially if you can pick up a refurb one at 700 bucks, uh, this thing's a steal. Um, really, really nice machine for 700 bucks. So um, I, w I am gonna keep really rebuilding the solid doodle though. I, I'm, not, I'm not giving up on that, but that's a, that's a longer term project because I got one that works now. So the other ones, when I got some spare time and right now I'm doing everything I can just to get chargers out the door. So uh, until next week, thanks for watching. Uh, and, and to Simon who uh, commented about my, uh, me not being excited about my videos. Hopefully I'm a little more chipper in this one. I no longer have a UTI, I'm off the antibiotics. So uh, woo -hoo, I'm feeling good, uh, but this is about as excited as I get. I'm closer to A-Bomb and Mr. Pete than I am to uh, John Saunders. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time.